Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you Fisherman's Blues. <laughs> In a band that does kind of Celtic rock pop covers, uh, then this is a very common one for a fiddle player to be asked to do. Fisherman's Blues. Uh, it's a tune written by the Water Boys and it appeared on their 1988 album. Um, as the song and the album is called the same thing. Uh, written by Mike Scott and the fiddler Steve Wickham, uh, who you may uh, recognise appears in my rock violin book and uh, I wrote a tune called Wickham Wanderers which is a reference that uh, Americans won't get but it was a uh, <laughs> it was a, a bottom of the league uh, football team I'm not sure if it still exists or not but it used to when I was a kid uh, so I'm going to show you basically what Steve Wickham plays on this tune and it's a very fine part well considered um, in what you might call the Celtic rock style it uses a lot of pentatonic phrases and uh, runs it uses some Irish ornamentation and it uses what I call the double E lick uh, to great effect. So basically I'm just going to go through uh, section by section and show you what he does. And um, I don't think it's actually worthwhile learning all of this. I, when I, I play this a lot with, with various bands and basically I pick out the most um, important parts, the most recognisable parts, and uh, the rest of it I kind of bluff it. But if you uh, are a completist and you like to do it exactly like Steve Wickham, then uh, I should be able to get you close with this. So it starts off with an introduction. Um, you don't play on the first chord, the mandolin comes crashing in on the second chord. And it's not often that mandolins come crashing into anything, <laughs> but they do, it does here. And then we're straight in with uh, the double E lick, which is an open E and either your fourth finger or more likely um, your second finger. You slide it up and then you slide it down again. So that's going from the A minor chord to the C chord. And then that little pentatonic phrase. And here we're going from a G chord on the root to the F chord on the root and then the A minor chord and rather than play an A minor root we are playing the um, E note which makes sense because we're going down and that's a good example of how to deal with um, a moving four chord line you try and find a line that moves through it and then for the C we've got a C with a G below it Let's play that just from the beginning. Here comes the mandolin. And here we go. the verse and we're basically it's basically the same chords through all of this so we're just going down again C uh, this little phrase we're adding a double cut a, a flick of a third and a second and a double cut you always slur into the note you're coming to descend again then it's into the chorus, same again, and then we've got a little syncopation going with the drums, and then we miss out two bars, so we're uh, going straight to a fiddle break without going to the G first. Uh, so if you're following the exact arrangement of the original then just watch out for that. Uh, let's take it up to, the, up to there from the beginning.
that solo. So we've got a high G and we're sliding up um, three times. And then F chord. That's a double cut. And then a roll on the F. And the double E lick again with a little flick of the third finger. Single cut. So that is a, I think that, that little solo is worth learning. And uh, it's very unfortunate that the band I mostly play this with, we do it in a different key. And so, so the double E lick doesn't make any sense. So I have to put it in somewhere else, but it all, I always feel it's lacking. Um, it, that's the, really the most important thing about this for the fiddle, is getting that double E lick in the right place. And the wrong key, and you can't do it. So, um, we've got another verse, another chorus, and then the solo, which is similar to what we just had, but it goes a bit further. So we've got... That bit, um, it's, it's the same as previous up to that last two bars. And that's very standard um, pentatonic scale uh, triplet runs. And well worth being able to improvise these as well as copying. Then an interesting phrase, a G above a B. about that. Um, it's low down in the mix there and he could more or less make up what he wanted for that. Um, and then it is uh, another verse, another chorus and a play out on something similar to what we've got. <laughs> Etc. and uh, chorus and fade. So I'll play through from the beginning, but I'll miss out the verses and choruses that I haven't written anything out for. Uh, so I hope you find this useful. If you don't know the song, and uh, I've got no one to play it with, then <laughs> you're wasting your time. But it's a fine song, it's a fine album. Uh, one of the first in that, at that period to do this kind of music with all acoustic instruments, and uh, I think it's, it's a great album. Uh, so, uh, if you'd like a copy of the dots, then do subscribe and send me an email, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs>